All right, hi, it's uh, Nick Caruso. This is a really quick training on uh, using VBScript to strip out or potentially even remove a, um, a document from your knowledge object. Um, I'm going to be showing you here, excuse my screen resize here, I'm off screen, but um, there's an Autostar SDK, and uh, I'm going to be using the SDK to, uh, um, to help you through this process. All right, so what I'm going to do here and show you what we want to do here. I created a really quick demo, I'm just using Auto Capture. Simple button, remove file, and uh, don't worry about the field. I've just done dummy field in here. My component for my Abbey settings, standard, um, activate, pass through. I want to output a text file, but I'm keeping my original image. I want to do something with my text file in VBScript later on, but then strip it out down the, down the road. So, um, and I also turn on, just so that you're aware, fast recognition, just because for, for testing purposes, so OCR is really fast. All right, and I'm going to be outputting the file just to a standard folder. So if I run this, I've got a little script training remove file directory. I'll upload this as well. Um, I'm going to go to my test folder, right click, send to remove file. I'm just going to run this. And in a couple of seconds here, boom, it was very, very fast. It output it to this folder. So I got my image and my text. So I want to do something in my text file to um, search for regular expressions or something like that, but then I want to remove it so I only have my TIFF at the end of, of the workflow. All right. All right. So Again, I'm going to be using the, um, the SDK and information in the SDK. So, for example, um, remove document is in the SDK and then allows us in the uh, knowledge object to call remove document to remove that, um, a certain file. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Um, I'm going to add VBScript after my, VB, after my uh, OCR workflow. And um, I already have a shell already created in here. So I have a, uh, I'm calling my function remove file. I like to call my script files the same as my function, so it's easy to reference. And I have my template in here. This is what I consider my template. If this is the, the nomenclature of the jargon, just to get to a topic, um, we really don't need this, but this is the shell that I do a lot of things um, within, uh, within Autostore. I'm trying to keep this to five minutes, so I'm going to go pretty quickly here. So what I want to do is I want to get the total number of documents. So I'm going to use that. So knowledge object document count. So I have a variable now here called um, document count. What I'm going to do is I'm going to loop backwards through this. If you've ever removed something from an array in scripting, um, it's always good to move backwards from the end of the array um, to the front. So I'm going to say while current index is greater than or equal to zero, what I want to do is output what my current index is. So I'm going to be looping through, again, from the, the end to the beginning. And I can call different, I can get reference to a document in this array of documents um, by calling get document by passing in the current index. This is a zero based array, I believe. And there are, once I get the K document, there are some properties such as the file path, the document, and so forth, or the extension. And I want to output those to the status monitor so I can see you know, what those are. And in this case, I want to output, I want to do something here with, with my file, and then I want to uh, get rid of anything that's a text file. So I'm going to say lowercase file extension. If it's a text file, I want to remove that document. Now, in some testing I did, um, I don't know, maybe the remove document is not zero based, this function call. Maybe it is, but it seems like I had to do a plus one. Probably need to do more testing on that. And then what I want to do is just decrement this index counter. Okay, so lots of output to the status monitor. I'm going to go ahead and save this and compile it, and uh, restart my config now that I had added VBScript. Now, once you add VBScript to your component, you don't have to recompile it over and over again. You can or restart it. Okay, so let me do a quick test here. And uh, whoops, test. Right click, send to remove file. Hit submit. And I have status monitor running in here, so I could just see what the output of what should be happening here. And boom, so if I go to my output folder, now I should only have a TIFF image. And if I go through status monitor and see my, my loop through here. So um, current index was one, here was the, the path. Why isn't it stopping? Here we go. Uh, it was a text file, so it removed it at index one, and then it went down to zero. That was an image that was okay, so it didn't output. So hopefully that will help. Thanks. Bye. Uh, oh, one more thing. If you just Google um, Autostore SDK, you'll get to a, uh, a place that you can download the SDK so you can get information regarding um, this Autostore SDK stuff. And it says Autostore 5, but you should be fine.